Hey friends, welcome back to Let's Go Car Cruising. My name is Mark and I'm a car nut. Early morning, Sunday, on my way out to uh, visit a collection I've been invited to go see. And uh, I think it's gonna surprise y'all. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna head out and uh, take a shop, shop tour and uh, see a bunch of really cool cars. Stay tuned. Let's go cruising. Hi, Pat. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for having us out. Yeah, okay, welcome and, uh, to, we call this LMG Garage. So LMG Garage. I'll welcome. put a I'll put a link to it in the uh, description for if you. If you don't mind, I And uh, a little bit of tour and uh, tell us what you got going on out here. You got some fun stuff and uh, we'll take a look at it and we'll stay off the ice. Sure, we'll uh, walk over here first. This right here is a 1972 Triumph Spitfire 1500. Uh, bought a bunch of these out of Charlton. We sold one so far. Uh, we just, uh, and I'll show you when we get into the shop, the son just made that, we, we don't buy anything, we make it. Uh, we just made that uh, floor pan. A lot of stuff you can't buy. Right, well this right here. <laughs> so it's good to be able to make it, I guess. Huh? Two or three hundred dollars for the pan kit. And I says, we'll just make ours. And this right here has already been repaired. There's a couple small holes, we fixed them. This right here, 18 gauge, which these are a little thinner than 18 gauge. But, uh, you know, we pretty much followed what it needed to do. We still have to put the little drain in it. But, uh... You know, we're going to take this right apart. It'll be off the frame. We're going to paint it. I want to paint it uh, British Racing Green. He wants to go with red. We'll see. Flip a coin. Yeah. Motor's all been cleaned up. Took the top end off. The bottom end is great. Top end, lap the valves, new uh, new uh, head gaskets and all that. And there it's all set. Over here, we're going to do another video probably on this. This right here is a SCCA, a NER, uh, uh, full-fledged race car. Uh, it has English tires on it. They're out of they're they're out of uh, Europe. Uh, very 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 soft compound. If you drove it on the on the road, they'd probably last about 500 miles. Oh okay. But they grip really good, and uh, they're good for about eight nine races. They're okay. about 350 dollars a piece. Yes. But uh, racing tires. Yeah, this exactly. right here is a uh, it's a true uh, you know real race car. Uh, it was uh, number one last year. My son unfortunately has a job now, so he can't go to every race. But uh. Unfortunate for racing, unfortunate for his income. Right. And I told him, I said, you know how you make a million dollars at racing? Start with two million. Yeah. And uh, I got 914 wheels, 914, uh, a lot of 914 upgrades on it. Uh, so that's just giving a hint of what, what is there. It is extremely fast. Right here's a 1966 Dodge D100. It's the last year of the polyspheric motor, which is a semi hemi. Uh, it looks like a big block, but it's actually only 318 cubic inches, but it's also 220 horsepower. Uh, completely rust-free truck. I got this out of uh, Nebraska. Just a neat old truck. Just cool. And I'll show you one cool thing. Only the, the is a commercial truck. Only the commercial trucks did this. All the way up. All right, the way up. right. I remember we, uh, we had, I don't know if it was a 400 or a 600 back in the day and, uh, with a flatbed, you know, yep. dual wheels and flatbed and, uh. I don't know if it was a, it wasn't a 318, it was a truck motor. 361 probably. Yes, yeah, that's what it was, it was oddballs. Everybody's yeah. like, what the heck is that? Well, yeah. it's a truck motor. Yeah, and uh, it's a standard. I have a lot of standards here. Yeah. Uh, yep, I've seen you with this out at the cruise nights and, yeah. and uh, it just it runs, gets a ton of attention because it's like a, a top. cool old truck. Yeah, it runs like a top, interior's nice, a little dirty. I just pulled it out of long-term storage. I had to clean it, obviously. And a uh, small back window, which is kind of neat. Oh, is that different? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they usually have the large back. The commercial never had that. So it's ah. kind of neat. This right here, uh, I got it out of Palmer, Mass, but he got it out of California. Pinta Conta, or however you say it. It's uh, in between Los Angeles and San Diego. Okay. Uh, this right here is 63,000 original miles on it. It has one, one respray. Uh, and solid as a rock. Oh, immaculate. Underneath is unbelievable. Uh Nice interior, bad dash, everything's frozen. Camper special, GMC, 1973. Two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. It's gonna pull that trailer with a big block, yeah, uh, four block four and all original. There you go. I'll clean this up, but I'm not gonna paint it or anything. I'm just gonna drive it how it is. I just a funky old truck, everything is nice. It'll clean up nice. Yeah, it'll be very cool. I'm gonna bring it to your place. I know someone that can cut it and polish it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that open. 
Let's see if the tray here opens. What do we got here, Pat? This uh, looks even uh, like more fun. Yeah, this is another garage that we have. We have uh, three, three different, uh, three different storage areas in, on the property. This is a seventy Z twenty eight Rally Sport, uh, original Hugger orange car. I painted this in nineteen eighty nine. It looked better. <laughs> it's been thirty seven years. Right, exactly. So it's uh, you know, but it's held up age. well. It held up. It's all this right here was uh, Centauri, uh, single stage. That's what they came from the factory. Twelve bolt rear end car, four speed. I just did the mirrors over. They're sitting in there, so I didn't put them back on. Uh, four speed car. Again, it's been sitting for a while, but it's. I might have it out this year. This right here is a uh, a rally sport car, also, which is the cool front end. And this, you know, some of them were not correct. Uh, quite a few of them were not. There was, there was, uh, this right here is a RS Z28, uh, 1970. Uh, not all the Z28s were were rally sports, but uh, there was 8,000 uh, Z28s made, uh, 4,500 four speeds, and a little less of automatics. Okay. Uh, this right here is the poster car that you would see on a poster, the orange with the black stripes. Cool. Just kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, I'll show you our little our little uh, machine shop while we're okay. here. This right here, believe it or not, 1964, the year I was born, mm -hmm. uh, South End Lathe, do a lot of work on this. Uh, and I got to admit, my kids do more work than I do. <laughs> so if you see a lot of work, probably my kids do. That's awesome right. that you know uh, that you've got that yeah. and the ability to use it. A little machine, a little, uh, this is a Harbor Freight. I bought it at a yard sale, but it works. I had a, I had a big uh, big bridge port. This right here is just so much better and so versatile that mm. I really like using this. Yeah. Uh, I got a little tire machine here. We change our own tires. And That's there, handy to have. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a rim clamp. I bought it for my buddy who was getting the better one. And uh, he owned a shop, and I got it for what it was a trade in. I think I paid five hundred bucks fifteen years ago, and it works like ten minutes. And it saved you that and more. Uh, in here is a little tool crib, and uh, there you go. A lot of people were talking about, you know, what do you think of the uh, U.S. General? That's all I buy. Right. They're, right. For Absolutely. what I use them for, it's I, on I my have, list. I have one ten years old. It's like brand new. So why wouldn't I? You know, why would I buy a Snap On when you know? It's just in my, it's in my shop. Right. Know, so yeah. it is an automatic and it's my wife's car. I drive it once. It's actually a pretty quick little car. Yeah. Uh, we put uh, extreme contact uh, continental tires on it. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been putting on everything lately. And I put the uh, 2005 the, wheels instead of the 2006. I just thought they would look better. The DWS 06? I honestly don't know. The That's Continentals, it. yeah. It's That's extreme, what I run on Evolve. Yeah, yeah, extreme contact. My son would tell you he spec'd everything out. Yeah. So he's, I love he's, Continentals. I use them on on all the cars, the Volvos. Oh, cool! My kids and uh, and mine. You know, my son runs a two forty, two forty wagon. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a nut. It, 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 that's a cult. The, the, you yes, think the Corvettes I, uh, are bad. No, I haven't a, joined that. I, I, that's I, a cult. The oldest one I had was uh, an eight fifty, a ninety four eight fifty. Oh, that's a good. That's a nice car. Yeah, that's a real nice yeah. top of the line. This right here is my wife's nineteen eighty four Corvette. Came out of Worcester. The guy got it out of, uh, he got it, he had just bought it. And then, unfortunately, his daughter had some health issues, so he had to sell it. And it's probably the cleanest, it's two owner, well, three owner now, uh, probably the cleanest C4 in the country. It's immaculate. And it's, uh, I think it just turned over 50 or 51,000 miles, all babied. Every sticker, everything is, is original, original paint, original everything. Just wow. a gorgeous car. Yeah, it, it, I've, I've seen it hood yeah. up before, yeah. and it, uh, it's pretty, yeah. Very cool. A lot of work to keep them that clean, I know. Yeah, <laughs> and I do uh, a lot of license plates, too, if you look. Yeah, I've, and, seen, uh, yeah, I've seen the plate. plates, yeah. I, yeah. I got that, uh, one of my best ones is that Repair number 27. I thought that was kind of cool. There you go. Low, low number, uh, I do have a 1910 that I traded a European plate for, for a buddy of mine who passed away at a Mercedes-Benz. So just thought it was cool. Again, just, you know, we collect all sorts of signs and all that stuff. Absolutely. It's I mean, just a memorabilia it's, place. Yeah, that's what garages are for. And, you know, as I told you before, you know, we were talking about this interview. I was going to clean the place up. I said, you know what? This is my garage. This is how it is. I do right. have stuff yep. laying around all the time. So Absolutely. There we'll go, go to the next building. Let's go next one. So this is an interesting looker. Yeah, it's uh, it's just been sitting here for a couple of years. But uh, uh, believe it or not, put a battery, you'll start right up. Uh, I do have to buff it out again, but I race this on the ice. I race this with my son with his uh, Volkswagen. He beats me, but this right here is a stock rear. I did win my class. Full disclosure, 
there was another guy that was there. There was only two people in my class. <laughs> but uh, it was still a lot of fun, and uh, I hammered the heck out of this thing. And everybody says, oh, you destroyed that car. I said, no. It the was. Tor- the, torch, the torches were on. They were ready to cut it, cut yeah. it up, so I saved it. You saved it. And there you it's, go. Uh, it's a uh, two-import car. Runs like a top. Looks a little, little goofy. The big shop. Uh, we do have uh, a friend of mine's. is a 58 uh, Overland. We cut out the panels, rebuilt the uh, inner inner wells. Uh, again, this is my son. He is so meticulous on this, and uh, we're going to make it so there's very thin lo- layer of a th- of a filler. Yeah, these are all butt welded. Sure, all yeah. butt welded, but it'll sound like this. When it's all done, you'll never know it was ever touched. We'll, right, we'll yeah. grind inside even, and we'll go on the other side. I'll show you what we've done over there. Again, as I was telling you earlier, I love California cars. This came out of California. Uh, might be all dented and stuff like that, but it's so nice not having rust. So we cut this right here out because they had very large tires on it. They just, they ripped everything. These right here okay. are panels. We made these panels. So the repairs are not done because of rust. They were done because it was altered. Correct. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was destroyed. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, we use, we use 18 gauge. Everything's MIG welded. And on, out here will be TIG welded. We'll grind it on both sides. All this has been rebuilt. Again, they had a fuel cell in it. Uh, here we have to clean up. He wanted side marker lights, and he still wants them. Uh, so this whole thing will be all, we still have to rebuild this. Again, it's been cut. It was never rusted. Underneath is immaculate on this truck. Yeah. Uh, when it's all said and done, I'm going to put a motor in it. Uh, Got to do the firewall. They banged the firewall out. I'll show you real quick. Uh, you know, with a, with a, with a sledgehammer. Oh, so Make if you fit. look at it, yeah, if you look, everything fits. Unfortunately, they pushed that. These are all in now because I mean the metal has to go somewhere. Yeah. This has been pulled in. So we have to put a port of power in between everything. We're gonna cut that whole piece out and make a new piece. Uh I got a mock-up motor, gonna throw a mock-up motor in here. He wants a small block Chevy. I was gonna say stock style or just a small block Chevy. He, I, I, I tried to talk him into a uh, a six-cylinder. He wants to drive it. Yeah. So it's you know, it's it's gonna look pretty much stock. He wants a little a little back lowered, a little a gasser two, look. Two wheel drive. It was four wheel drive, and he oh. put the uh, he put the uh, he likes okay. the gasser look. He didn't want the four wheel drive. Okay. So. Again, nineteen fifty eight, just a cool truck. Yeah. And I usually don't do other people's cars because it's just a hobby. Uh, right. But yeah. He's a friend of mine. I says, yeah, I'll take care of it. So. Uh, awesome. Right, right next to you, I know you saw this car before. This right here is the famous ZR one. Uh, I will pop the mo- the hood on this. It's just a beautiful motor. It uh, is. They this are. right here was the Corvette from hell. It still stands up to the new Corvettes. It'll do 4.1, 0 to 60. That was unheard of in 1991. Oh, that was outrageous, yeah. yeah it was crazy. And so, that was 375 horsepower, 375, correct? yeah. yeah. Uh, and they're all there, believe me. Yeah. And, uh, and it's constant. And that right there is the... Uh, that's what they call the money shot right there. That's the probably the prettiest motor I've ever seen. It's a uh, double overhead cam made by Mercury Marine, uh, designed by Lotus. Designed and, by Lotus, yeah. Uh, sent into Chevrolet. And uh, people don't know what this car is until they sit next to it and then they rev their engine and I, I, drop, the, I drop the clutch and- Gone. The car gets up and goes. Yeah. It's really set up very well. Because it's the the uh, the outside body changes the the rear is is wider and yeah I'll show you how and that it's got works. the wider wheels. It's got three fifteens, which are twelve inches wide, but they're the very subtle. They're very extremely subtle, and then the rear end, the way you know it's a ZR one, you'll see these two little panels, and it's four inches wider. Uh, and uh, yep. they they couldn't put the light here, so they put they kept the light the nineteen eighty six style. It's just a nice cruiser, fifty thousand miles on it. That's awesome, and it's immaculate. Uh, bought it third owner. This came out of Chicago, and I bought it out of New Hampshire. Awesome. So never been touched. Over here is a 1969 uh, Firebird 400 four speed, and I bought it almost complete, but I did a bunch of work to it. It's all detailed. We detailed the heck out of everything uh, and put it back together. It's a four speed car, posi rear end. You walk under it a little bit. It's all, uh, this right here is going to be at a Mecham in uh, Harrisburg. And I'll put a reserve, a pretty good reserve on it. It's a 400 in it. And uh, very nice. Cool. Would you like me to lower it and see also, the motor or are you all set? Uh, 
No, you can leave it. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. I'll get a sh picture aside, and it's a yeah. dark blue. Got to have the red lines, man. And the red lines. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's authentic. Okay. Now you saw the you saw the floorboards that my son made. Yeah. I'll show you really quick how that works. Okay. This right here is a bead roller. Set your bead. Set your bead in there. Come on. 18 gauge is 18 gauge. See how that makes the bead? Yep. There you go. Okay. And then say you wanted to put an angle on this so you have to go up a little bit. We'll go over to the slip roll right here. And this is antique. This right here is 1930-something. But uh, just set these real quick. Anyway, if you wanted to put a little bit of an angle, I see a little tiny bit. Yeah. Go through it again. And then you adjust just a little more. Sometimes you just want to have a little bit of a radius. Yeah. And other times you want to have it a lot. So you got a little bit of an angle. Right. Now you keep on, yeah. I can make it completely round, but I'm going to use this piece of steel for something else. Sure. And this That's right awesome. here is yeah. 18 gauge. Yeah, don't, a... ever, don't ever put your fingers here. No, because it's done. It just slices right off, and that's 18 gauge. Done. It'll cut a piece of paper with nothing. That'll take yeah. you, that'll take your fingers. that won't even blink. Wow! Uh, so you can make stuff. Oh yeah, we make all our parts. All the we all know that there's a lot of stuff that you can buy for old cars, but there's a lot of stuff we got to make it. You we have all it. this. I have uh, another uh, Eastwood uh, shear and all that over there. I just got still setting it up. Uh, awesome. So it's nice. This right here is a. Uh, I'm into Corvettes a little bit. This right here is a 1986 pace car, and we got the picture up there of it. Uh, this right here, I do have ZR1 style A mold wheels on it. I uh, just thought they looked cool. I have the original wheels also, but uh, uh, convertible. It's dirty. I got to clean it. I know a good guy at details cars. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm into pace cars a little bit. Right here is a 2000 and, uh, 2008 uh, Indianapolis pace car, tuned by Lincoln Felder. Lowered Z51 the suspension, Z06 underneath, LS3 in it with a cam. Uh, yeah, this thing gets up and goes. This, this car wants to hurt you. Yeah. Again, a little dirty. It's, it's but you winter. can still drive it and get groceries in it. I oh, still get 30 months to go. It. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. Right next to you is a 1966 Ford Mustang. Again, another California car. Uh, I was going to put a V8 in it, and then I just started working and I realized how original it was. It's out of Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, so I ended up pulling the whole nose off, all that. We painted it and all that. Uh, it's a six-cylinder, three-speed standard with a bench seat, which is extremely rare. Extremely rare. So that's cool. That's very cool. And the interior is all done up. Pretty clean car underneath. All detailed. Yep, it's only original once. No, no, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, no panels ever, has ever been touched on this. This fender right here, as I told you before, there was a dent. I took another, I got another fender for it, but yeah. it's an original Ford fender. Nothing like California cars. I got a bunch of them. I, I try my best to get them. I, you get them out here, they've been repaired. Right. Or, or you got to do massive repairs on yeah. them. Yeah, and they're never the same. They're, when that motor, when you start cutting on the, uh, cutting on the, uh, on the original metal. This right here came out of Sacramento, California. This right here is an Indian, again, dirty. Uh, it's a uh, Daytona 500 pace car, which is kind of cool. And that has the Recaro edition uh, interior in it. T-tops, never had any rust ever. Clean car, all the documentation. 81? 1981, yep. turbocharged, uh, 301 turbo, which that's what they had. That's, yeah, it was, and, a, uh, it was more of a, 
a, a, a name and a, and a decal that didn't really have much grunt to it. But. Unfortunately, they, uh, unfortunately, well, they did have 220 horsepower in 1981, yeah. but uh, unfortunately, I mean, you could do stuff to them. The, the one I'm going to show you, we did a couple things to it, but a lot of people took the turbos out and put the 400s in, and now the original turbos are worth big money now. Sure. One right. or two thousand, these are one of 2,000. Ever wow. Made. Disc brakes all the way around. That was a big deal back then. Right. And uh, above that is one of my little, I had this car for years and years and years and years and years. This right here is 1981 uh, Pontiac, black and gold SE, turbocharged, uh, original everything. Original paint. I could use another paint job, but you know what? I'm going to leave it how it is. It uh, disc brakes all the way around all that. It'll clean up and it's neat, uh, neat you'll be fine. Car. It's a nice car. And uh, yeah, it's kind of what we do here. Perfect. Just mess around and uh, got a lot of projects outside, inside. I just retired from the state, thank God. Absolutely. And, uh, Retirement's a, a wonderful thing. Yeah, got a little uh, a little, uh, little time on my hands. And uh, if you look real close, I always thought everybody had a dune buggy hanging from their sail, uh, ceiling, but I guess they don't. That's a, uh, that's a coyote. Uh, and if you ever watched the monkeys movie called Head, as in Brain, okay. uh, they have that same vehicle driving around. They do have the chassis outside. We bought it for the motor for the for the Volkswagen as a spare, but I'm gonna put that thing back together someday. And uh, that's a beautiful. Uh, that's uh, Liberty Blue. That's the color of that Pontiac. Boy. So I got a bunch of old signs and stuff like that. These are just stuff that's been given to me. Just uh, goofy things. I did. Uh, I hit a home run on the Studebaker sign. I got that at the uh, swap meet a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. I thought it was expensive, but I says I showed her what they were worth. She said, "Oh yeah, grab that." And uh, again, I got a bunch of license plates. I don't. Yeah. I don't have any crazy license plates, but I do have one that's interesting. You were talking about a forty-one. I got a New Hampshire forty-one slash forty-two. Don't forget, we had a little war going on in nineteen forty-one. Yes, absolutely. And I got two of these, and uh, they're the same ones. And uh, yeah, 41, 42. Unfortunately, someone drilled holes. I never did. Yeah. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, awesome. Not a lot of collectibles. Garage art. They're just cool. They, you know? Yeah. Got the little Miller highlights. The guy was, I was at my brother's uh, campground. He was going to throw it away. So I'll grab that. I'm doing a collection of uh, 1964 plates from every state. Oh, nice. And I guess uh, you're into that. I got about yeah. 12 or 13 left. I've got most of them. And I found out that the ones I don't have are the hard to find slash expensive ones. So I've got all the easy and inexpensive ones. And, I got uh, one with the fish somewhere. That's, that's a backwards. 28. Yeah. 28. I got one somewhere and I, I could, I bought it, I paid it five bucks and I, I couldn't buy that fast enough because I know that's a collectible. I have it yeah. on the wall somewhere. Yeah. I've got one 28 at home that I acquired, I uh, really which doesn't quick. fit the uh, run that I'm putting together, but. It's okay. It's cool. It'll hang on the wall. Yeah. I picked up a couple of Tonka trucks that I'm going to put up on a shelf. And Very cool. I've got a telephone bell system Tonka truck, the bucket truck. Nice. That uh, I've had for ages and ages and ages. So. Uh, yeah. What's white and gray and sleeps too? Phone truck. Phone truck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the Ciccone, uh motor oil, that's 1929. That's a porcelain. It's actually probably the most expensive sign I have. And uh, the the neighborhood golf station, they don't so they don't uh, do gas anymore. Yeah. So I drove up there, and I saw these two signs laying. What do you want for them? Aces. They're yours. And uh, so I got two of them. One out, one outside, one inside. And they they actually light up. Cool. It's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Well, great, Pat. I th I uh, I thank you for for being uh, friendly, your friendship and and hospitality and. Uh, I'll see Great you at the tour. Car shows again, man. And uh, yeah, we'll see you out cruising. Got to sell me that 60. Thanks again. Yeah. You've <laughs> been hounding me since the day I met you to buy that yeah. car. And I'm serious. Uh, there you, there you go. I'm serious with the uh, with the uh, the C4 and the C2 I'm looking at. I'm going to grab that. There you go. Uh, wow. What a great collection. Nice shop. Great guy. Great car guy. So thanks, Pat. We appreciate your uh, your hospitality. Uh, enjoy the collection. We'll see you out at the car shows this summer. Hey, okay, folks. Uh, again, remember, we're trying to uh, get some good content out for you here. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll help grow the channel some so we can uh, get some better content out there for you. And uh, we'll see you out on the road again. Again, thanks. And remember... Let's go car cruising. We'll see you next time.